What's up, buttercups? <laughs> How are you guys doing on this magnificently golden day? Well, that behind me is the golden Jeep Wrangler. 2019 and it's golden. But 2019, Jeep has made a lot of changes <laughs> from the old one. And so in this video, we're trying to see exactly if that 2019 Jeep Wrangler is gonna be worth it. Or if it's just bleh. So I'll find you guys, that doesn't make sense. Anyhow, let's get to this review. Three, two, one. Whoop. Like I was telling you guys, this is a 2019 Jeep Wrangler and Jeeps used to be a lot about off-roading and uh, and that's what I'm here to find out is that has this Jeep, has Jeep gone soft? Because the older ones were so awesome, like they were styled after military vehicles and they had been, everyone loved the shape and Jeep with the 2019, they still kept the old shape, which I love that they did. Um, but they did some modern tweaks and it's more curvy and all that. One thing that you notice as you're driving this car is that at almost any speed, you can hear one sound. Are you guys hearing? I'm just gonna shut up so you guys can listen. Yeah. A lot of wind noise. <laughs> because you are literally driving a block of ice, but with like, it's just, it's just a block, a massive block, and that's what you're driving. And because of that as well, this thing does not get the best fuel economy. I think highway mileage is showing me right now it's 19 miles per gallon. That's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy to think that um, a car that is this amazing or that is this new, even in today's age, is getting 19 miles per gallon. But that's because of the styling. This car has the whole modern interiors, has Apple, the screen has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. And it has digital displays as well in front as well. The center stack or the center console is a part digital display. One thing I've always loved Jeeps for is just the way you can literally take this car apart with like two or three tools. The tools that you're supposed to take the car apart with, they give you everything at, in the back. And it's really cool. They give you a way to organize it and everything. It's awesome. And so whenever you take out all the doors and take out the roof and take out the back and all that, you can do all of that legally. And you can still have a place to store all the bolts and nuts that come from the car because there's a space, Jeep made a space in the back where you can store all that. And I just love what Jeep is about. And, um, but to answer the question, have they gone soft? Okay, so let's go off-road. Oh crap, the brakes are good. Okay, so I'm going off-road now. I've, I literally don't know what this ground is like, but this is two-wheel drive. Look at this. What? I, this is off-road. I'm literally off-road. I have never been here before. I don't know if I'm, and this is just with two-wheel drive still. And it's doing fine. What? This is where I'm literally, <laughs> I literally turned off the road and I literally don't know where I am now. But I feel like I could go anywhere with this thing. Just what? Look at this. Okay, let's go up. Oh my God. Oh my God. And this is still two wheel drive. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh. This is terrifying. I'm not sure I should be here right now, but, oh gosh, yes. Oh yeah, and it has this feature that I really like. Hold on, I'm gonna stop this car and then go to it, hold on. It shows you how much heel descent you have. It shows you your tire pressure. So right now, I'm, it shows that I'm off-road and I can see how much angle my steering is at and what angle the car is at too. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna, that was in two wheel drive. So it's kind of struggling a little bit, so I'm gonna put it in four wheel drive. Come on, come on, can do this. Is it in four wheel drive? Yep, four H. So now I've locked the, the differential. And now it's off road. What? I am done. And you can see everything from the screen that I have here. That is so, I literally feel like I could go anywhere with this thing, but I probably shouldn't test it. But you can feel all the four tires Struggling for grip. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I am in love with this thing. Oh, I had a jig in my life. Okay. The older jeeps were just 
I mean, even though they were nice, but I just, you just needed more stuff, especially being in today's market. You just needed more uh, comfort features that made it more of a daily driver. And with this, I've, I'm very happy to say that they have done that. I love how it stays in contact with its roots. It's all other cars, Mike, to do the off-road features these days. You have a button you could twist or a button you could press. With this one, they want you to feel like you're actually doing something. And so there's a stick below there and it takes manly muscle in order to move it. So I'm just gonna be like, it's kind of hard to move it. So right now I'm in two-wheel drive and I'm still gonna stay in two-wheel drive because of fuel economy, but I'm in two-wheel drive and so, and you can hear, hear the sound, it changed to 4H and there's like N and low and so you have all the off-road features and the ground clearance in this thing is amazing. Let me see what else, what features this thing has again. And it has the angle of pitch and roll so you can see what angle that you're at and right now I am not at a very safe angle. Oh crap. I literally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've never done this but it shows me I'm at 10 degrees down. What? And it's, it's so cool too as well. It shows you what, this is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna get on the road back again. This thing is just so good. It's so nice. You feel like you're a king. There's this feeling that driving a Jeep gives you, which I love so much. It makes you just feel you're so high off the ground and it just feels like you're untouchable. It is very rough. The suspension is just very bumpy. Like, <laughs> going like this the entire time. And so, but one thing that the Jeep gives you, it also has auto start stop. That's why I love what Jeep has done. Like they give you auto start stop to save gas. It still gets, I'm gonna take off your uh, foot whenever you have a green light, the car starts up again. And so they give you those kind of comfort features. It has a reversing camera and I think the interior is water resistant too because even though they are, there's a lot of plastics and all that but they did it so that you can whenever you take your car off road and splash it down wash the inside everything is still going to be fine and you're not going to break anything and it's just a nice interior it it's very well done if that makes sense so it might not be the best like Rolls Royce quality and all that but it's still nice you have good visibility but some of the pillars are massive. For example, the um, B pillars that are by the side here are so big. Like anytime I look there, they're just one massive blind spot. So I have to like constantly check both windows. So from here and from there that I'm good. But if you look back there, there's good enough visibility. It's not as bad as like a sports car like my 370Z or anything like that. So it's not too terrible. And this thing actually goes. It actually goes, which I find very surprising in a car of this size. <laughs> it actually goes well. And so the engine that they have in it is more than enough and more than sufficient to move this car around. It's so weird how it goes off and it's so quiet in here. But okay, I'm gonna floor it whenever they start. Let's see how fast this thing goes. So I'm gonna count it. So zero, flooring, 40, 50, 60. So count how many seconds that was and let me know. <laughs> but that was fast. Compared to like the Jeep, my really good friend Lucas has uh, an older model of a Jeep and um, it is not fast at all and it feels like a thing is gonna fall apart any time you're going. It just doesn't feel very safe, honestly. And things like squeak and rattle, I cannot hear any rattle from this. Granted, this is a brand new car. It only has 548 miles on it, but it's still a really nice car. And it's, I don't feel like I'm sacrificing anything apart from the wind noise to get that off-road capabilities. And the steering also feels light as well. It's not, the steering does not feel heavy and I love how they did that because then the previous one with like the wider tires and all that, the steering just felt heavy, a little bit heavier, but this just feels light. I think they, and don't quote me on that, but I think this is an electronic steering like pretty much everything else. I'm gonna guess, I don't know. And I like the little details that Jeep gives you, which is which pays tribute to the older Jeeps. Whenever you start the car, you see um, on the digital screen, there's like a little Jeep that runs across the screen and that's pretty cool. And then another really cool thing as well is on the um, glass, the windshield, you can see a tiny Jeep of old it's just by the side there and it looks like it's climbing up uh, it's like a, a printout of the Jeep climbing up uh, the side of the windshield and that's just pretty cool again the wind noise is atrocious just listen yeah it's so bad Ooh. yeah, yeah and I, there's it's so funny too there's not a lot of body roll and the steering is light there's not a lot of but I was expecting me to feel like 
again the old one was like whoa like whenever you're taking a corner it feels like you're just gonna slattle the of the car and keep on rolling but in this i feel like the car is not to say sporty but it just feels very balanced i don't know how they have done this but they have done a very good job and i am very proud of jeep for owning this or for doing this look at this taking corners at like regular car speeds i don't feel like i'm gonna die <laughs> That's so weird. Oh my gosh. Where has technology come these days? Suspension is bumpy, but it's not that bad. This car performs well as a road car. Apart from the wind noise, everything else is good. And what I like as well, most cars don't do this. Most cars don't even come with spares at all, but this car comes with a full spare at the back, and I love that. Oh, this is a tight turn. Uh, tight, they want to say tight corner and tight turn at the same time. Tight turner. So yeah, Ooh. yeah. there's a little bit of body roll, of course, but it doesn't feel dangerous. And whenever you want to go, it goes. <laughs> this is a really good car. What? The amount of clarity I have from the ground makes me just feel invincible. That I can crush anything that comes my way. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> this is an amazing car. I love this thing. So now I'm on the road, but I'm gonna go back off. Oh crap, that didn't feel good. This is so crazy. What? I'm off road! What? I am done. I am done. <laughs> this is the coolest thing. I feel like I'm like, what? Now I'm at like 20 degrees. What? And you can hear all the sounds. I'm kind of terrified because I've never done this before. So literally anyone can come off road and nothing is going to happen. Oh crap. Look at my tires and wheels. I'm going to get out so you guys can see exactly where I am. But yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Hopefully there's no snakes around here because that would be a disaster. But yeah, this thing is very capable off road. So Jeep has not lost the goldenness. Still in four wheel drive. I'm going to put the handbrake on too. And yeah, let's see this. <laughs> That's pretty much it guys. <laughs> this car is literally the best thing since sliced bread. But um, hopefully I can drive out of this place that I am. And I'm probably gonna go that way and leave this place. But this car is a hoot to drive. I've never said that before, but I just feel very Kentucky today. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a Kentucky thing. I'm so sorry for offending everyone on the planet. But thank you all so much for watching this golden video. I love this thing. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next magnificent golden drive. But what do you think about the new Jeep Wrangler? Has Jeep gotten too tame and released this golden piece of gold? What do you think? Let me just let you guys, or just let me know what you guys think. That's pretty much it, guys. Bye!